The Upper Peninsula is home to thousands of native plants, but which are the most common? Fox UP's Kelsey Nemisto has the details. In the Upper Peninsula, you don't have to wander far to encounter nature at its best. And with thousands of native plants and about 50 common ones, it's no wonder. The best thing about native plants, no fertilizer, we do not water, uh, they're self-maintained, very easy. But we just still have to, to uh, remove the invasive species, so that's why we have the, the Wednesday weeding. There are eight categories of native plants. Trees, shrubs, ferns, vines, grasses, sedges, rushes, and wildflowers. Species from all categories can easily be found in your backyard if you live in the UP. Some of the most common include goldenrod, swamp aster, northern sweetgrass, and sugar maple trees. But there are many, many more common plants native to the UP. There are a lot of plants, the evening primrose, which is yellow in the yellow family, black-eyed Susan, then you have some purples coming in right now, bee balm, uh, uh, blazing star. Oh, there's just so many, to, there's just too many to, to mention. Renee Leo says the common milkweed plant, which is native here in the Upper Peninsula, is very important. It serves as a kind of halfway house for butterflies here in the UP. But sometimes plants that are not native to our area take root and take over or destroy the native plants. The Central Upper Peninsula Weed Management Area, or CUPMA, helps to rid the central UP of these invasive species. We've been working a lot with garlic mustard, spotted knapweed, uh, we did a little wild parsnip work, um, also some black swallow wart. Uh, right now it's primarily spotted knapweed that we're working with. Invasive species can easily get here. Their seeds can attach to animals or humans and go wherever they take them. They kind of take over and once they get in a spot, if they're not controlled, they kind of, they spread like wildflowers. So it's best to, to uh, kind of nip them when, when they get started. Otherwise you get uh, a pretty big infestation and they'll crowd, crowd out a lot of the natives that should be there. For more on native plants, check out our website, UpperMichiganSource.com. Kelsey Nemisto, Fox UP News, Marquette. The Marquette County Conservation District says they have Weeding Wednesdays. Officials and the public gather at the Trestle Corridor off the bike path behind Little Caesars in Marquette and pull weeds or unwanted plants out of the garden. If you'd like to participate, you can meet at the corridor at 8 a.m.